And tonight, King Supers workers are inching closer to a strike, but it's complicated. Both sides are hoping to void the picket lines. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Tom Mustin. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. Thank you for join, uh, joining us. Union workers overwhelmingly voted to authorize a strike last night. And now there are plans to go back to the negotiating table. Denver 7's Eric Lufer joins us live in Glendale tonight. So, Eric, the big question is, what does this mean for all of us, the shoppers? Well, business as usual, Tom. That is according to King Supers officials who say the last thing they want to see is a strike and that coming to a deal would obviously be the best outcome for everyone. It's uneasy times right now for our associates, for our, our customers and our community. That's why King Super spokesperson Adam Williamson tells me he's eager to get back to the negotiating table. We've given our full open calendar for next week to them, so and, and now it's just getting to find out what day that is. With talk of a possible strike, customers are wondering what it means for them. My biggest concern was really the prescriptions. The pharmacy, if, you know, crossing that picket line, people are going to get upset, but I need my prescriptions. Well, I'll have to find somewhere else to shop, possibly, if they're not open. Williamson says if there were a strike, temporary workers would be put in place. We're preparing for having it be as seamless as possible and, and, and no interruption to the customer. More than 12,000 workers are represented by the UFCW Local 7. In a statement, the union says in part, quote, we are dedicated to keeping King Supers and City Market the best place to work and shop, but we can't do that without a partnership with the company, end quote. A few demands include pay raises, of course, and solving what the union says are decreased benefits and increased costs for health care, something Williamson says is simply not true. Um, it's wage increase for all associates. It's um, health care that really is best in class at $100 a month, uh, a pension, which not many people have anymore. The existing contract between the two sides ran out in January. Now it's just a waiting game to see what happens next. I don't know, maybe I have to stop shopping there for a while just to support the people that are looking for a better situation. Now, King Super City Market operates 152 stores, 148 of them right here in Colorado. The last strike between workers and the company back in 1996, it lasted for 44 days. Now, we pushed really hard to try to get some answers on a time frame for a possible strike, but because negotiating is ongoing, there really is no hard answer right now. I'm in Glendale, Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Hopefully they can work something out. Thank you, Eric.